Hi, my name is Ari, I'm Dutch and I've been learning Russian for the last five years. Uh, in this video, I wanted to share with you five series, or a little bit more actually, that, um, that helped me a lot when I was learning Russian in the beginning. And the great thing about these series is that they're either super, well, relatively easy to listen to, or that you can find them for free on YouTube with English subtitles. So no matter what your level of Russian is, you can still listen to them and watch them and you will understand well, depending on your level, you will either understand them um, or you will just let your brain get used to hearing Russian, which in and of itself is a very valuable exercise to learning Russian. All right, so let's just start off with the first one. Well, the first four um, series, actually, you can find them. Um, well, they're all available for free and I will be adding them in the, in the description where you can find them. Some links to the series. So the first four are about, uh, there's one channel on YouTube, which is called Star Media. E N so Star Media N Star Media English, uh, and they just, they just it's the the English version of the Star Media channel, which has a, a huge amount of free series on YouTube for, for in Russian, but the English one has them all with English subtitles. So let's just get started with the series that I found the I liked a lot there when I was learning Russian in 2017. This was. So the first thing is they got a couple of good documentaries uh, there and that are about. Uh, about history. So for example, the ones that I liked are the one about the Romanovs. So the about the, the Tsar family um, from I think it goes from 1500 to 1900 something when when the last Tsars got executed. And it's just a nice overview. And it's not just just historical facts. It's also like they, they show how things went. Um, and they, they really put a lot of actors into it. So it's not a boring documentary. It's a very interesting one. Um, two other ones are the ones about, for example, the, the First World War uh, or the one with the Napoleon Wars, uh, the Second World War II, although I think that one actually also has English sound, so it's not that good if you want to learn Russian. Some other documentaries that they got are the ones about space, that they talk about how the Russian space um, program went when they started to, uh, in the 60s, 70s, 60s, right, when they started putting people on the moon. Um, and how this race went with America and how they wanted to make rockets. So that's also interesting. So I think um, Open Space, the Romanovs, um, World, First World War, Second World War, not too good, and the Napoleon Wars, and they got a lot more. But let's just, so those are just all documentaries. Those are just the first one. So the second one is um, called The Dawns Here Are Quiet. In Russian, it's Azoris uh, Tihi. And that is a nice series because it, well, it's also about the war. Russians are good at making war series. And this, is a, a, this was a classic. This is a remake of the classic one. And it's about a, uh, how do you say, like a, fe a female regiment. And that gets, gets a new uh, commandant. And this is a guy. And then, you know, at first they don't really accept him. And then, you know, the, I think the Germans come over the front. And then he starts caring a lot more. And in the end, it's, it's a very nice story, a good series to watch, especially if you're into, into history. Uh, but it's also just a lot, of, a lot of drama as well. So that's everything of the, the best of both ways, basically. So the third one is, again, about... Well, the third one um, is called Guard Sharp. It's about... I think it, it, it takes place in the 20s or the 10s. Uh, 100 years ago, and it's about a young guy who travel who wants to you know live abroad, um, not in Russia anymore, and he travels back to his hometown Odessa, in in Ukraine, from Moscow, and there you he tries to earn money in order to um, yeah to get enough money in order to go abroad, but soon he he's pretty good at playing cards and doing those little petty crimes, so he he just becomes better at that, and you know that's he, he starts crossing ways with the main guy, uh, the main criminal boss in the town. And, you know, it's, it's just a nice sort of criminal, uh, but also pretty funny and, and, and a little drama. And it's nice to see Odessa because Odessa is a very beautiful city. I'd love to travel there one day. All right, so the fourth series that I liked is called Trouble in Store. It took place in the 80s, just when, just before the fall of the communism. And there is a, the owner of, um, of a, like a, a store with a lot of food and everything. And he gets accused of uh, corruption 
because he apparently is supplying a lot of higher government officials with foods that you know they officially should not be be, be getting like more of their share and uh, the entire series is about um, some detectives trying to catch him um, with this corruption so it's, it's so nice to see how the, the how Russia was at the end of the uh, like just before the Soviet Union fell and it's also very it's a lot it's a, it's a drama sto drama story so if you're into that you can you can watch that so the last one this is actually the 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 only series in this list that i could not find on youtube with english subtitles so that means that it's, it's a very good to try if you can see if your level of russian is like high beginner intermediate so you can understand just watching Russian series uh, without subtitles or with Russian subtitles. The series is called Kak Yastal Ruskin and it basically means how I became Russian. It's about an American journalist who for his work needs to travel to Moscow. He gets relocated and I think his, his grandma was Russian so that's why he got chosen to go there because he knows like a very basic Russian and there he gets a lot of into a lot of interesting situations and this series is especially good if you're learning Russian because you can the, the the Russian use is not that difficult because the main guy Alex his his Russian isn't that good and he's the main character so he's speaking all the time so he, he uses pretty simple constructions and if you want to test if you can like I said if you want to test if your Russian is good enough to understand it without subtitles this series is the best to start it's like the the connecting series between watching here you're watching uh, with English subtitles then you try watching this series and if it works you can start watching a Russian series with uh, without English subtitles or better with Russian subtitles so that was it um, basically five series um, well some more if you count all the documentaries but you can find them all on one channel uh, hope you enjoyed it and uh, yeah enjoy watching some series they're a great help to learn Russian bye